Hello. Today I will attempt to use a siphon to um, suck the fuel out of the generator and put it into a fuel can. So I've never done this before, but um, I, I would like to store my generator without any fuel. So um, I believe I have about two gallons in there, so I don't know exactly, I forgot. But um, I, I, I do know that when you store the generator, you don't want to have fuel in the carburetor. So I did perform that process. I did um, close the fuel line out while the generator was running and let the carburetor uh, fuel burn out and then shut down, have the generator shut down uh, by itself like that. So the carburetor is uh, free of fuel. Now I am going to try to t uh, siphon out the fuel from the fuel tank and see uh, that if this siphon works, um, the siphon pump from Hypertuff. Um, I believe when you squeeze, it sucks in and it pushes out the other end. So uh, I'm gonna open this up. Hopefully I don't cut, cut into the siphon with this. I think when you siphon also, you want to have the, uh, the, the uh, receiving container be lower than the, the, the retrieving, uh, than the, 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 the fuel can that you are siphoning out fuel from. So I'm gonna open this up. This uh, fuel can actually has a, f a filter inside of it Inside of that, I don't think I can take it out. So maybe I should use the other fuel can, which I, which doesn't have a filter to stop the, the hose from going inside. Because since the hose is kind of cur it's cur curling on me, I want to have it stay inside the fuel can. So I'm going to go use a different fuel can. When this one was compromised, I had fuel in it about full, full to the full line and uh, it started to expand, so it's compromised. So I will um, just use it as a transfer co uh, container. So I'll fill up, well, I'll pour the fuel into this one, but let me see. First, I have to test which side is the suction and which side is, is the uh, exit of the pump. I can't really tell. Okay, this side is pushing. They're d doing the same thing on both sides. Uh, this is strange. Maybe it's just the way it works. So I'm just gonna try and see the outcome. See, this even has pressure in it right now. So my goal is to uh, put this generator and store it in that newly constructed shed that I built. And it's actually on a video, a, a series of videos that I posted. So you can see those if you check it out. So I'm gonna open this up. There's the fuel. Actually, I don't think I can get into the fuel. It's actually a full tank, but there's this um, filter piece Oh, it comes out, good. I need this out so I can pump the fuel out. It came out, this is the fuel filter. I'm just gonna put this upside down so it doesn't collect. I don't, don't wanna put it somewhere where it's gonna get uh, dirty. There's dust on almost everything here. Then I'm gonna put this in. Then I'll put this in the fuel can. This one is longer, much longer. Uh, and let me see how that, this works. It 
it didn't want to suck, but then that's it on the suction. Huh. It's not working as I had hoped. I should have gotten the hand pump. One where you pump uh, like a like this. Unless I have it in the wrong way. So I'm gonna try switching the ends. If that doesn't work, then I would probably need to try some other strategy. So I'm gonna put this end in. Maybe it was the wrong end. I don't know, this is my first time doing this. Can I put this? Oh, it's working now. I see movement. I see it doesn't want to go up higher in this spot. So maybe I need to put the, the tubing at the low spot. Did not want to go above that that higher spot level up, elevation. So let me try it now. It's not going in. There's something I'm doing that this just isn't working. I've seen my father suck the end and it starts flowing. I should have read some instructions if there's any. I should have gotten a different kind. But this was uh, not that expensive. Be sure the plastic tip on the end of each clear tube is inserted into the black siphon bulb already inserted. Uh, place long clear tube into the liquid to be siphoned. Make sure the liquid to be siphoned is above the container receiving the liquid. Yep. Uh, place your finger over the end of the tube which will be receiving the liquid. Squeeze the siphon bulb two to three times to begin the, oh, I have to put my finger over it first. Remove your finger and allow the liquid to flow with into the empty container. If you are pumping gas, make sure the hose is pushed deep into the tank before you store the siphon pump. Be sure all liquid is drained out of bulb and hose. Store in a cool place. Okay. I should have read the instructions. I'm supposed to put my finger at the end here like this and pump and it's going to fill up it's deep in there like they said I don't see any build up Squeezing. I don't see anything. I followed the instructions. I see some kind of movement in the tube over here though. I don't 
don't see anything. They said two or three pumps. There's nothing. So my fingers over. That's higher. Well, at least I tried. I just don't want to. Uh, I'm just going to have to get a better uh, system. I don't want to put my lip on this to suck it. Which is one other uh, alternative: is you suck the air in until it starts flowing, and you put it in, and the higher level goes to the lower level. Well, at least I tried. So this is a fail. I'm going to return this pump. Thank you for watching.